I'm sure you heard of iron, but do you actually know what it is and its role in the human body? Well, if not, don't worry, because we're going to dive into this and the signs you should watch out for that may suggest iron deficiency. So iron is a vital mineral that plays a key role in our hemoglobin production. Now let's paint the picture. It's our red blood cells which carry oxygen to the whole human body. And it's this hemoglobin, which is a key protein within our red blood cells, that helps facilitate this process. So with that being said, if iron is a key component of our hemoglobin, and hemoglobin is a key component of our red blood cell, then we can understand that if we have deficiencies in iron, this can lead to deficiencies in our red blood cell production, also known as anemia. Now before we get more into that, iron can actually be stored in the body as something called ferritin. These are essentially reserves that can mobilize depending on the body's needs. And in particular, pregnant women are actually at a higher risk of iron deficiency due to greater iron requirements to support fetal placental growth. In addition, any cause of chronic or high volume blood loss can increase the risk of iron deficiency. Now you may be wondering, how does this iron deficiency present? Well, it mirrors the classic signs of anemia, which are all related to poor oxygenation. And this can occur throughout the whole body where you may feel fatigued, you can have dizziness in the brain, you can have brittleness and pallor of the nails, paleness in the eyes and palms, and even shortness of breath in the lungs. But the good news guys is that iron deficiency can be really well managed with dietary or supplement changes, just like the one I've got right here. It comes in many forms, but a typical tablet like this one is such a great start. It can also be paired with vitamin C, which has been shown to increase its absorption. So guys, I hope you learned something today about the role of iron in the body and signs to watch out for that may suggest deficiency. Now, I wanted to end off with saying that the purpose of this video was solely to educate, and so if you're experiencing any of the symptoms discussed or have any questions, be sure to consult your healthcare provider. Thanks for watching.